I'm particularly looking forward uh, to the 24 season. You know, we had a great year last year. Um, the rule changes uh, from our perspective, and I think from the perspective of our fans, more importantly, were a great success. Uh, the players did an unbelievable job adjusting to the rule changes. Our umpires managed the game uh, that really, for them, became much more complicated um, really effectively. Um, and I think the, the test of it all um, is that 70 million people showed up at ballparks for the first time in almost a decade. Um, looking forward, we want to build on the momentum uh, that we felt we developed in 2023. Um, we're going to start um, with our spring break series, um, giving people the opportunity to see some great young players, um, the best prospects from organizations play against each other. Um, it's only a few weeks and we will be in Seoul to open the season, which we're excited about. Uh, the Mets and the Phillies in London should be great. And, you know, maybe the one that people in the office are most excited about is the game at Rickwood. Um, a great opportunity uh, to honor the legacy of the Negro Leagues, uh, to pay special attention to Willie Mays, one of the greatest players of all time. Um, so we're, we're excited. We think we got a great program this year and look forward to a successful 24. Well, we always pay attention to what people are saying um, uh, about any new initiative. Um, I think you know in baseball, any new initiative, there's going to be some negative feedback. Um, first and most important, uh, th these are Nike jerseys. I mean, we entered this partnership with Nike because of who they are and the kinds of products that they produce. Um, everything they've done for us so far has been absolutely 100% successful across the board. Um, the jerseys are different. They're designed to be performance wear as opposed to what has traditionally been worn, so they are going to be different. But they have been tested more extensively than any jersey in any sport. Uh, the feedback from the All-Star game last year where the jerseys were worn was uniformly positive from the players. So I think after people, you know, wear them a little bit, I think that they're going to be really popular. Rob, do you have any sense that maybe the uh, injured list, fan of injured list situation is more widespread than just the Mets? Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I've read a couple of comments from players that we're following up on. Um, a, a, a about that issue, um, I, I think the um, if in fact it is more widespread, it concerns me. It's a form of cheating, um, and I think that um, you know it's incumbent upon us to try to figure out if it's more widespread. Um, but uh, the fact, you know, one thing that I've been absolutely clear about: the fact that you allege that somebody else was doing it is not a defense if we catch you. Everybody has their own personal responsibility on these issues. However it happens, you get caught, you're going to get disciplined. At the owners' meeting and here with the All-Star Game, you've made it sound like this term is going to be your last term as commissioner. Have you formalized that? Have you told ownership that this is it? And if so, what, what does the next few years look like as far as finding a successor? Yeah, I mean, I, I have, look, I'm 65, okay? I just started a five-year term. That do that math, right? That makes me 70 years old. You can only have so much fun um, in one lifetime. Um, I have been open with them uh, 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 about the fact that this is going to be my last term. Um, you know, I said it before the, to them before the election in July, and I'm absolutely committed to that. Um, I, I'm sure the selection process is going to look like it looked the last time. There will be a committee of owners um, that will be put together. Um, and, you know, they'll identify candidates via, you know, interview process, and ultimately someone or a slate of people will be put forward.